Future Electronics is a worldwide leader and innovator in the distribution, marketing, and technical support of electronic components. Our Display Solutions Group can provide you with comprehensive solutions for all your LCD needs, including LCD displays, touchscreens, controllers, and custom integrated solutions. Future Electronics offers excellence in technical support through our Advanced Engineering Group. Our team can meet with you to support your technical needs and coordinate with other offices and manufacturing locations worldwide. We provide design assistance, problem resolution, and overall system guidance. We also have the added value of corporate teams and field specialists for each of our divisions. No matter what stage of design or manufacturing, Future Electronics will help you reach your goals. Freescale Semiconductors Incorporated is a global leader in the design and manufacture of embedded semiconductors. Now we want to show you a demo of the IMX Evaluation Kit, driving different LCDs using Future Electronics Panel Interface Module. Hey everybody, we've got a great program here from the Display Solutions Group. What it does is it lets you take a whole bunch of different displays and use an IMX uh, Freescale processor to drive it. So this is an IMX Freescale uh, IMX53 evaluation board. And here's an IMX28 evaluation board. Any of these boards can now drive any display that they're capable of, of driving. What we've got is a standard connector on all of, the, all of the evaluation boards. Now we've made a panel interface board with this mating connector. And now it comes up to both LVDS and regular, con regular cable connections where we can build standard cables with the mating connectors and uh, the correct other end on it for the particular display and allow any of the IMX processors to light up whatever they can do. Now included in the kit will give you a uh, backlight inverter circuitry and the right software on SD cards so everything just powers up. There's still a few instructions to follow but let me just go through this real quickly and show you how it works. Okay, let me show you how to put this together. Here we have one of the displays. Comes with a cable, and uh, this will be the video signal cable that will push in carefully. All right, and then the other end will plug it into the PIM. Now there's usually uh, little alignment slots and a correct orientation, so you don't have to force this. All right, so that's, that's not the right way, so that's the right way. All right, so I'm going to push that in. like that. Okay? For the other cable that comes with it, this is the uh, backlight inverter for an LED backlight. This little connector here goes to the display on this particular display. They're all different. So you have to figure out uh, where that goes and push that in gently as well. And then the other end, there's backlight power. In this case, you might have to double check with uh, with uh, displays group, but in this case it's bottom bottom aligned, even though the connector is a little bit smaller than the uh, the one provided. Okay, so that's the connections to the PIM or the panel interface module. And then this header plugs on to the IMX board. In this case, it's just right here. And again, don't need to force it. You can wiggle it back and forth. So now we have the display properly connected with the IMX board. Now on this one, it's an IMX53. So the software is provided on a micro SD card. All right, that has to be put in all the way. And then we'll power it up next. Okay, so now all we have to do is start up the, power, the board, the IMX board. Uh, by pressing the power button, you'll see it'll start to boot. At this point, the display may show different artifacts, and that's a good indication that something's happening with the display, that it's connected correctly. When we get to this login prompt, we log in. Uh, these instructions, you'll have a quick start instructions provided with the kit. Pick the display type. Now, I've copied all the commands I'm going to use over here, so I'm just going to copy this one. 
paste it in, and now the display is initialized. Now I can issue the command to play a little video. So this will play any MP4 or other video that you can put on a USB stick uh, on the SD card itself. Here's another one, a program written in Qt that can display images. So here's some space shuttle images. The program's called Test Pattern, and it just puts different images up on the screen. Any JPEG image you put on the USB stick. So again, very simple to demonstrate. Another program is uh, some of the Qt uh, demo programs here. This is just, um, this one just shows some graphics manipulations happening and sliders, typical buttons you might run on a display. For further information, including the Display Solutions Guide, Panel Interface Module, and the Linux BSP patch, please contact your local Future Electronics representatives or email lcdtechnicalsupport at futureelectronics.com. Thank you.